Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Games Master one here, and it's been a while since I've shown you guys a video on, basically on how I play in Division 1, just while, what I'm thinking, what I'm trying to do, what I'm looking for, how do I defend, it's all gonna be in this video, and just wanna thank you guys so much, I'm gonna use this really OP team, check, check, check this black, check out the black slot on, check out this guy, just an incredible team all together. And I want to thank you guys so much for all the likes that I got on those videos. That's really incredible. That's incredible. Just thank you guys so much. And I'm going to reward you guys. So 40 likes is really easy for you guys. How about 70 likes? And I'll upload tomorrow, like a double upload, basically when I wake up because I live in Los Angeles. And my morning is like your afternoon slash day. So... Basically, when I wake up, I'm going to upload this. I'm going to wake up, see if this has 70 likes. I will double upload and show you guys, basically, a trading tip. Because, believe me, when I tell you, I go through the comments, I read every single comment. And somebody was saying something about, show us some trading tips. Or, you have so many coins because you open packs or you do trading. And straight up, I'm going to tell you guys, I have... 1.2 million match coins. I just played this game way too much. I used to trade a lot in FIFA 13, but in this game, I found it really difficult. It's really hard for me to find bargains in this game, and basically, it's just hard. It's really hard to make a decent profit on players. So I was like, I spent so much time trying to buy these players and try to sell them, and sometimes I lose money, and it takes me a while to sell them. I'm like. Might as well just play this game, stay in Division 1, get 10k, or actually win it and get 15k, so... I don't know. But yeah, this guy, I see that he has a left wing and right wing, and he has Cavani. Oh, come on, I thought I had that. He has Cavani, so I expect him to go for a crosser too. So basically, when you know this guy's going to cross, you want to run with your left back and right back from the outside. You really want to go through the out and force them down the middle. Because those type of people, if you force them down the middle, they really don't know what to do. They like, all they know is fake, try to go down the wing. Ooh, is that a, I don't know. This guy actually be... Come on, don't give him those balls. Clear it, clear it. I was playing a game earlier and I gave somebody like two attempts like that. I won, but... Ooh, that that was actually nice. Passing. This guy actually isn't bad. I'm not going to talk shit on this guy. Because there's some people that are like absolute crap and all they do is go for crosses, go for crosses. And it's so easy to counterattack them. But like, they would get a deflection on me and literally go through me. Go through me. Ooh, Gaetan. Look, look at Gaetan's left foot. Don't finish it with your right. I wanted to show people your left foot, Gaetan. But, hey. Goal's a goal. Gonna take that 1-0 lead. Always. I like to keep at least a 3-goal lead. One goal is just not safe at all. Two goals is better, but... It's FIFA. Anything could happen. Literally. All it takes is one, cor one goal and another corner, and he's... He's tied. I don't care about losses. I'm I'm pretty sure I won't lose, but that I'm sounding way too cocky, but most of the times winning isn't really an issue it's just am I gonna draw or not. There's literally a handful amount of people that I lose to that like actually deserve it. Like they they're good skillers, they could finish well. They're good passing. Like, I actually literally say, wow, I deserve to lose. They were the better opponent. But, like, most of the times, it's literally bullshit. I play games where 18 shots, 12 on target. That guy has 4 shots, 4 on target, and he somehow beats me or gets a tie. It's just frustrating. But, don't get me wrong. If somebody deserves to win, I'll tell them. You were the better opponent in this one. But I sometimes talk over the microphone and I ask people... On next gen, I don't think there's that many users as the 360. So if my oh my god, if my Xbox doesn't find a guy on in Division One, and one time I asked, I played a guy from Division Three and one time from Division Two. So sometimes they're Division One players and sometimes they're just Division Three players. 
that just they can't find a game, I can't find a game. They put us together, I guess. I don't know. Go ask EA. I don't think it's fair because they're in Division Three for a reason, and if they keep on playing people like me, they're not gonna move up. See, literally, what did I say? Go from the outside, force them down the middle. They'll panic. I got, ooh, Chiellini is way too good. Okay, Lima, I'm going to show you this guy's long shots. <sighs> Was going to show you. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's illegal to cross, but crossing on every single play is just stupid. It's fucking FIFA, have fun. I know winning's fun, but come on, enjoy the game, do some skill moves, try some long shots. Okay, Salvio, no, I want Lima to shoot a power shot. Ooh. Ooh, drill it. Like that position, please tell me what I'm going to do with Jackson Martinez. Literally, Jackson Martinez dead angle, I had no other option. It's not like... I do that on every play, because I'll be a hypocrite if I say I don't cross. Everybody crosses, but not on every single play, again. I actually hold, held left trigger, try to do the scorpion kick, try to like spice it up a bit. Because <laughs> if you haven't noticed, left trigger is more like the trick shot thing. Oh, come on. It's more of like the trick shot. If you're in the air, like instead of getting a header, you hold left trigger with somebody that has good skill moves or... I don't know, high jumping or so. I don't know what stats do they use, but they sometimes do bicycle kicks or scorpions or, I don't know, some cool tricks. Uh, oh, no. Lima. This guy's actually really, really good on defense. Don't get me wrong, I'm trying to beat him down the middle. It's really hard. I got to pass it. Ooh. Huh. Eater was wide open there. I could have easily gave him a cross, but sometimes, I'm told you, when I could finish, I will finish. But that other time, I was with Jackson Martinez. From that impossible angle, I couldn't do anything. So hopefully, this guy doesn't rage quit. So, in my trading video that I want to upload tomorrow, I want to really emphasize on Team of the Year. I'm not going to be like all those other YouTubers out there that just be like, oh, there's a high supply, prices are going to go down, people open packs, people cutting each other, blah, blah, blah. That's, like, people know that since, like, FIFA 10, FIFA 11, whatever. That's really stupid. I'm going to tell you guys tips on who to buy, when to sell, when to buy your team back again, just like those kind of tips that you don't usually hear. I'm, like, I'm not saying I'm the best YouTuber, I'm just trying to be different than just open packs and whatever. One, no. I think I've done one pack opening, that was like, or two, maybe. One one when the game came out, I was like, I need coins, and basically, whoever you got in the pack, you would make profit on them. Ooh, nice stop, nice stop. And the other time I opened packs, I don't know, I was, felt like, okay, I was at GameStop where I buy my video games, and I was like, oh, I have some money, I was like, okay, I'll just spend it. Then I, like, opened all my packs. Out of all my packs, I think I just got Ozil or something, then... It was like, this is really pissing money down the drain. I would never spend coins because I actually use my coins. Like, you literally can't get anyone in pack be like, oh, I could get my money back. You either get somebody that's worth hundreds of thousands or you just quick sell everything for 2k. It's really stupid. Because since coin sponsors came out, people like EA just can't give everybody good players in packs because you see the youtubers every they do like daily like i'm talking about the 300,000 subscriber plus youtubers 
they literally, when I watch them, they, I don't know, like 20,000 FIFA points a week or so. They just packs, 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 packs. And it's just stupid, to be honest. Like, I know they, like, they get enough money, but it's just, like, the concept of just throwing vir money on, like, virtual coins. Like, now I got a shitload of Christmas money or whatever. I could easily get a shitload of FIFA points, but, like, the concept of spending money on virtual coins. I already have 1.7 million. I don't need to spend more. Like, I could easily spend more and try to get, be comfortable enough to get Ronaldo and Ibra on the same team, but, again... I would rather just get another Xbox game, Turtle Beach headsets. Ooh, this guy's actually good. Turtle Beach headsets, a gaming chair. I don't know, just something else than coins, because I really feel bad when the next FIFA comes out, like FIFA 15, then, like, for example, I got FIFA 14. On my other FIFA, I have Ronaldo, Messi, whatever. Just, I spent all the time and effort, and just those players are useless now. It's kind of frustrating, so I just don't want to put way too much money. Lima. I'm going to show you a long shot with Lima. I'm trying to force it. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to go defensive right now. Because with Cavani and Lavezzi, Lucas counterattacks, I just want to stay one defensive. Just in case. Oh, how how did he be Eater on that pace game? I see, I see his left arm making that run. I see that. Clear it. Don't want to take a touch. Like, these players are good. They could finish and do whatever, but... There's, there's 76 rated and not shiny gold players for a reason. They have no touching or no dribbling. Jackson Martinez... Ooh! Try to go for a volley. But Eater overran that. Okay. I see him making a 1 2 with Cavani. Oh no, he's going straight for the cross. See, I'm gonna run from the outside. Ooh! I thought I could slip through. He's gonna make a. I saw that one two coming. No 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 no! I thought they were gonna call off sides. Hell no! You don't want to take a touch with Helton. You don't want that. Believe me. Who? I definitely need to score at least one goal, if not two. This guy, I could... Some people, you could tell, you're just going to concede a goal no matter what you do. Like, most probably, it seems like this guy could, I don't know, slip through one counterattack, get a long shot with Cavani. I can see that this guy scoring a goal. I see Jackson Martinez there. You always check out the radar. The radar is your best friend in FIFA. You look for switches, you look for through balls... Like, I see I have no left fielders to give through balls to. Salvio, Farnet. Yeah! See, it's not really a fantastic finish, but just placing a shot is just sometimes good enough. Always power and whatever comes in handy. And check this out. Salvio, like, from Salvio as a right mid, finishing, you could say... Those kind of chances, he'll finish 6 times out of 10. And if you invest money and get somebody like, I don't know, De Maria or Robin, they would finish that 9 times out of 10. That's like the difference. But like, for the price he is, for like 600 coins, he's literally a bargain. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. Ah, that, that was for my other striker running. This guy's getting kind of predictable. Ooh, kill him. Ooh, drill him. No, that was for my other striker. God damn it, people. Get your passes right. Ooh. 
that was for guy time. I'm literally done. I'm done. My team can't get a single pass where I want them to do it. Here, I don't want to give him the ball. I think I gave him the ball. No, I didn't. See my guy making that run. He's black. He could outmuscle him. <laughs> Why did he look back? He literally looked back. He paused and looked back. I had him. One. Come on, let's let, let's get the third goal. Put the nail in the cough. <laughs> Trying to do a fake pass. Just need one more goal and we'll put the nail in the coffin. I think it's already done. 4-2, 80th minute, but I don't know. Three safer. Because I'm the type of guy that just snoozes at the end of the game. It's like takes it easy. Oh, come on, man. Come on, mate. Uh, I got him. Clear. Oh my! I pre. <laughs> First of all, my left back. I pressed A three times. Didn't do shit. And that's why you need a. That's why in my video, my right man, right wing. I say you need a guy that could cut in and finish. Cause another player would have easily finished shot it like back net. But you see there, Lucas had to like go for it twice. Jackson Martinez. Gaetan. <laughs> What's wrong with me? That's the second time one of my fake passes. It's not really fake and they go out. Oh, sir. Sir. Come on, come on. What minute is it? 88th. I want to try to keep possession here. I'm not saying kill time. Just don't give him the ball. Either I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get out muscled. I I try to press Y for. Okay, Gaetan, make that run, Gaetan. You're wide open. Ooh. Okay, this is kind of an asshole move, but I really don't want to cross it to him so he could get a counter attack on me in the 90th minute. This is, okay, there's something called being a cunt and like, okay, that almost backfired. Being a cunt and killing time 60th minute, but when the last 90th minute, you're up by one goal. You don't really need to give him the ball, to be honest. Uh, game is over, 3 for me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit 70 likes and I'll definitely start a trading tip series and I'll start my next episode tomorrow. So let's give this to the keeper. And yeah, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Mr. Games Master 1. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.